Honourable Member and the Leader of the Third Party. Okay. Thanks, Mr. Speaker. And the PC uh, Caucus would like to thank all other members of the House for your understanding. As, uh, as we gather here today, we're, uh, there's a hole in our close-knit caucus. Mr. Speaker, it's not just a physical hole. You can see the flag, dra dra flag draped desk here amongst us. It's a reminder that one of our family members is missing and is missed. There's a hole in our hearts. The member for Calgary Green Greenway, Manmeet Singh Bluer, was not just our colleague, he was a son, a husband, a brother, a friend, a confidant, a community leader in the heart of the PC caucus. His death on Monday has left us heartbroken. Manmeet, Manny or Mita, if you prefer, was first elected to this legislation in March 2008. But many of us in this House knew him long before. In the hours following his leaving us, we heard from some honourable members who told us they played sports with Manmeet, they went to school with him, they served on a community board with him, or campaigned with him long before he ran himself. I knew him when I arranged with him and the then Mayor Brad Kanye to declare the first ever Seek Awareness Week in Calgary. Even then, years ago, and not far removed from his teenage years, Manmeet was inspiring young immigrants to dream, dream big and be part of the solution. He passionately lectured them, believe me, passionately, to embrace Canada and recognize the rule of law, the only thing that protected their quality of life. At the same time, he was a fierce defender of the underdog and would not stand for the bullying of minorities. I remember him talking about getting taunted from switching from his turban to his helmet when he was playing high school football. Now, he did crack a bit of a sly smile when he thought about how he could settle his own scores on the football field. <laughs> Lord help those who brought on Munmeet's ire. But he needed to clear the way for more modestly proportioned athletes to fall. In the Le Alberta Legislature, the MLA for Calgary Greenway served on numerous committees and served as the Minister of Service Alberta, Human Service and Infrastructure. At the time of his first election, he was the youngest caucus member. Even then, he knew that... Munmeet, the advocate and MLA, accomplished more in his short years than some will fulfill in a long, long lifetime. He was involved in helping so many people and organizations, and his philanthropy and advocacy knew no borders. Munmeet was not bound by the borders of Alberta or even Canada. Recently, he was on a personal mission to South Asia to find ways to protect persecuted Afghan minorities and refugees. Sometimes, heck, most of the time, I didn't even know where he was. <laughs> and. He made this trip at his own expense. We learned yesterday that two families from Afghanistan are now safe in the Punjab. Thank you. To, thanks to Munmeet. I'd like to uh, <coughs> share some remembrances from our PC caucus members. The member for Calgary Lougheed will always remember Mita as a, quote, spiritual mountain of a man. He loved him like a brother, a very much younger, bigger brother, <laughs> with a much more impressive beard. <laughs> he particularly notes working side by side with Munmeet to secure assistance for the people of Nepal after its devastating earthquake. The member from Calgary Northwest laughs when she remembers how often he liked to point out that he watched her on TV since, as he said, he was a very young child. <laughs> And she joked that this was his way of pointing out how much older she was than him, <laughs> and how he always wanted her to sing the Channel 2 and 7 theme song. <laughs> she has now admitted that she has never had the heart to confess to him, to him that she didn't know all of the words. <laughs> the member for Calgary West remembers Munmeet advocating fiercely for him when he decided to enter politics and he rem remarked on the way that Manmeet had such a profound effect 
on any room, including this one that he walked into. Munmeet Bular never went anywhere unnoticed. <laughs> the member for Grand Prairie Wapiti remembers two years of sitting beside Munmeet in this chamber and listening to him belt out O oh Canada with his powerful lungs. He says Manny was great at many things. Singing was what, not one of those things. <laughs> and he smiles at the tone-deaf version of our national anthem that he endured on the front bench during that time. The member for Calgary Fish Creek said that he had the honour of working with Munmeet in the community for just causes and through the mutual engagement in the rich fabric of diversity we are all blessed with in Alberta long before he was honoured to serve literally elbow to elbow with Munmeet as a legislative colleague and he's grateful for the time he has shared working closely with him over the past six months. The member for Vermilion Lloyd Minster remembers being told that his Movember moustache didn't compare to Munmeet's facial hair when Munmeet was 12 years old. <laughs> and that's true. Yeah, that's true too. He loved Munmeet's sense of humour and admired his energy. And finally, a message from the member from Calgary Southeast. Manny, I will miss our chats, your quiet wisdom and your smile. It was so nice to meet you. We have heard that line a lot in the last few days. It was a hashtag trending on social media and it gave Albertans a place to share some wonderful memories of our friend. I have picked out just a few. Since the news broke of Munmeet's passing, we have heard from current and former colleagues, members of the press gallery, constituents, family and many members of this house. The PC caucus is most appreciative of all the kind words and wonderful descriptions of Mita. The anecdotes of precious memories of him and the insights of his character that we have seen and heard. A big man with a big heart and even then, larger than life. A brother, best friend, hero, a passionate advocate for Alberta, a humanitarian, and apparently men meet gave the very best hugs. <laughs> Yesterday our caucus went to pay our respects to the Bular family and it wasn't hard to see where Munmeet got his strength, his pride and his courage. As they grieved, they told wonderful stories about the boy they loved and the man they were so proud of. As Memmeet would say, I've got this. His grandmother talked about he, how he always wanted her to tell her stories. He, she, he, he could get her, never get enough of his grandmother's stories. It was only a week ago when he had to leave before one of her stories was finished and she told us now that they will never get to finish it. And his unfinished story is perhaps the saddest thing in our hearts. Farewell, Mita. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you for the time you gave us. Thank you for the inspiration. We love you, and now it is up to us to continue the great work you have always done. <laughs>